Look, look at that. Man up, Zahn. There are much worse things that can bite you. It's time for investigation. Ouch. As a doctor, my specialty is tropical medicine, and it takes me all over the world. But actually, one of the best places to study it is right here in the UK, at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. And I'm going to show you what they keep in the basement. Because some countries have tropical, warm temperatures, they're just the right conditions for disease-spreading animals to thrive and multiply. In this room are 8,000 of one of the deadliest animals in the world. And no, this is not a tank full of great white sharks. These are sexy flies. Oh! Setsi flies live in 35 countries across Africa. When they bite a human, they cause a fatal disease called sleeping sickness by injecting a nasty parasite. This laboratory in Liverpool is trying to find a cure to help millions of people. This is Dr Alvaro Acosta Serrano. He's the chief scientist who looks after the flies, and they're hungry. He's just served up some blood for them to feed on so he can research their habits. This is a special sheet that's heated so the flies think it's real skin. Underneath the skin is animal blood, and so the flies bite through the skin and drink the blood as they would in real life. Look at those bellies. They're red because they're full of blood. Lovely. How often do you have to feed the flies? Every other day. Every other day. So you've basically got 8,000 pet flies in the basement that need feeding every two days. That is a lot of work. So I thought I'd help out Dr Alvaro and feed one of the flies by letting it bite me right now. But don't worry, these flies are sterile, which means they don't carry any disease. So this fly is sucking up my blood through its proboscis, that long straw-like thing at the front. So how much blood is he going to drink? It's going to take at least twice his own weight. Twice his own weight. OK, so that is the equivalent of me drinking 300 pints of milk for breakfast. So while he's eating, he's leaving a sort of substance on my arm. What is that? It's just getting rid of the waste of the, from, from blood. So I'm not just being eaten. This fly is also having a poo on me. Nice. And look at how much its body has grown in just five minutes. It's full of my blood. And if this was a wild fly and it was carrying the parasite, it could make me very sick indeed. This green and yellow stuff is blood under a special microscope. But see those wriggly worm things? They're the parasites that the setsy fly injects. And those parasites multiply in the bloodstream and make the patient feel extremely unwell. And then they move to the central nervous system, to the brain, where they multiply further. The patient feels drowsy, increasingly sleepy, and over the course of weeks to a month, they die. That's why it's so important that the team study the flies and find out more about the parasites to stop them from causing people harm. At the moment, there's no vaccine to prevent sleeping sickness, and the only way they can keep the disease at bay is by setting up giant fly traps. So the investigation for Dr Alvaro and his team must continue. My experience with tsetse flies here in Liverpool has been fascinating. Even being bitten was quite fun. But in Africa, they spread one of the most fatal diseases known to man, and that's why the work done by Alvaro and his team is so important.